Hey, Lee Pennington here, how are you doing? In this video, what I wanna focus on is getting you a better click-through rate within your emails. So you've got that open, now you want people to actually view what you have to offer. So how do we do that? Well, we all know that video has a 43% better click-through rate, but we also know that adding video to our emails will get us flagged up as spam. So how do we combat that? And we combat that by a little bit of a hack, if you want to call it. And I'm sure you've seen it before. There's a lot of people doing it, but there's a lot of people not doing it. Now, what do we do? We want to represent that we have a video within our email and we want people to play that button and view that video. So the way we do that is by, first of all, grabbing an image of our video. Now, two of the tools that I use and two of the tools that I recommend you to use for screen captures, um, one is Jing uh, and one is Snagit. Now, you need screen capture on your laptop. And again, I'm not getting here to suck eggs, but it's a fantastic tool to have to be able to grab a URL of an image and share it very, very quickly, whether it be someone you want to chat with, whether it be one of your support workers and so on. So if I were to use Jing, I would simply capture this image, capture the image there, share it via screencast and what it will do now it will create me a url now, this is a free tool and something that i highly recommend you and strongly recommend you to get um, so what it would do now it create that url view on screencast and grab that and like i said i'm not taking you to suck eggs what i want to do is just give you a few ways of making things a lot easier so i'm going to use snagit now now i love snagit in the fact that once I capture the screen, I can edit it. Now, what I want to do is, and this is why YouTube's so good, I want to represent, obviously, a video and that the person viewing it can play that video. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, take away everything I don't need. So I'm going to crop it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as near as I can get it. Okay, remembering to keep in at the bottom a play feature, you know, just exactly like it's a play um the ability to be able to play it via video and then i'm going to do is save it so let's just go we'll just do test video okay save now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to head over to photoshop and believe me when i say i am no expert in photoshop you will be better than me if you've not got photoshop use gimp which is a free software you can even use paint to do this but we're going to go over to Photoshop and I'm going to show you what I do. So within Photoshop, I'll just go to File. Uh, I'll go to Open. Uh, I'll just find that. So Test Video. And I'm going to go to Open. Now, what I want to do, I want to put on top of this, obviously, a Play button. Now, how do I get a Play button? And again, you know, real basics. So please bear with me uh, if you think this is too, <laughs> too easy. So what I'm going to do now is Play button. Okay. Go to the images. Very simple. Um, select one of these images. What I want to do though is when I go to um, search tools, uh, I go to color, I want to get a transparent just to make it easy. Yes, I can edit the button within Photoshop, but my skills make it easy to get a transparent image. And all transparent images is when I click on it, okay, you'll see the image background is transparent. So that's perfect. Okay, so what I will do now is, because I have saved one, let me just go back over to Photoshop. Um, all I'm going to do within Photoshop, I'm going to do place. So this button here, place. Okay, uh, let's get play button. There we are. This one we saved before, place. Um, all I want to do now, I want to resize that. So make sure I keep hold of shift. Okay, let's get it about right. Okay, and then I want to move it. So let's place it there, uh, and then we want to move it. So let's grab it over here and just put it there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So oh, let's grab that, place it there. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this image within my email. So all I'll do is let's save that as, uh, and we'll save it as a PNG. We don't want to save it as a PNG, so test video, we'll have that. Uh, we can do a JPEG or a PNG. We'll just do a PNG. Okay, so test video PNG, save. Now, what I'm going to do now, go over to my emails. I'm going to do a new email creator. This is obviously the one that I'm using, Get Response. You may be using, I don't know, Aweber, whatever it may be, but it's very, very similar. Okay, let's do test just to get them on the right level. Next step. Okay, blank template. Okay, I'm not going to go through everything, but I'll just do text at the top, do an image there, 
text at the bottom and I will clean this up uh, and <laughs> you will see it so I choose an image okay my images now I have saved one before all I would do is upload it from the computer get the image that I've just done so there we have test video uh, okay so I've done it in JPEG and I've done it in a PNG as well so I'll just cancel it so I'll use this image now what I can do I can resize that if I want I can keep it that size I can bring it down okay and there it is very very easy now what I would do with that image okay I would then add the URL so let's for instance let's grab this URL there copy it okay so add the URL within it let's paste it in there so now when this email goes out people will view the image they will see the play button on it they will press the play button and then they will be redirected to the video. Yes, you know, we're not playing the video within the email uh, and it will get to the inbox by just being an image. Now, you may be thinking, well, some people have the images turned off. Some people just have it text based. Yeah, that will cause uh, an issue. But to view the image and they have it turned on, you will get a better click through it. And what I would suggest you to do is test A and B. So test one without the video test one with the video and you will see a better click through it very easy to do okay you're watching the video now that you've just clicked and I do recommend you to do it now what I'm also going to do uh, today or tomorrow I'm going to send you another actual email where we're going to talk about geo targeting now geo targeting is the next big thing and a lot of marketing companies are doing it and what this is doing is basically allowing you to basically see where a person is visiting your sales page from your squeeze page from your ads from and then represent their country with the text that you are showing them people over 80 percent of people prefer for actual um, ads actual products to be local so if you can represent in your sales page in your ads in your squeeze pages that you are local you understand the culture you understand what they're all about then you will get a better conversion rate and it's been proven now think about dating sites anything like that when you go on anything i'm not saying anyone's any dating sites but they always represent a person local to you it just works well it is a little bit of a hack okay you know we're talking about hacks at the moment we're talking about getting better conversions so look out for my email uh, with regards to geo targeting and you will be extremely impressed by it so many big marketing companies are doing it now uh, and we're able to grab that software to grab what they're doing and create our own and you will see that in the next email so once again thanks for listening if you have any comments please just reply to this and I will happily answer them but adding video or the image of a video will get a review a better click through it but you have to do that testing so once again thank you very much for listening speak to you very soon